Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm sorry I'm on here late. I know I used to be on here about. Well, no, I guess I'm not on here late. No, I'm going to say I'm on here late because I guess when I do my second video, I'm on here about 5 or 6 o'clock. Y'all, I'm just looking at my phone, and you know I usually do some news updates on, on some things uh, every now and then. Uh, so, it was saying that um, on Twitter, it was saying that on July 17, 2022, at approximately 3.25 a.m., Dallas police found an adult male with multiple gunshot wounds behind the Southern Skates at 2939 East Better Drive. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. That area right there, that was like part of my area that I like grew up and stuff like that. I had did like a lot of hustling and stuff like that. I don't really too much understand like I be telling y'all when I say I don't understand I don't understand about people in these all these killings I don't understand I don't understand why we just can't live as a unit and just be happy within ourselves I don't understand it and then I'm looking at uh two days ago I, I, I didn't know you know I'm just be doing a uh, news update. Uh, so two days ago, it's a critical missing uh, asking for the public assistance in locating the above. Uh, I'm not going to mention her name because I don't think her family wants her name to be mentioned. But I am going to say, I mean, it's on Twitter, but if you would go on Twitter and look at the um uh, the Dallas Police Department, where there has been crime. So I want y'all to, on um, that second person that I just read, I want you to, um, how, what is the word I'm looking for? I want you to help find her because we, 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 uh, the, I'm pretty sure the family won't close her. I'm going to put it to you like that. So help the family find this young lady. And uh, on the other part, it was seen uh, the Dallas Police Department home asking for the public and asks anyone with information to contact. Okay, that's really not a that's really not nothing. You know, uh, it's not really nothing. So, uh, yeah, it's not nothing. Oh, you know what? My uh, thousand prayers go out to the Miami PD. We are deeply uh, uh, sorry to hear that. I don't, I can't pronounce her name. I'm gonna say Miss Barnes. She was a uh, sheriff and um, lost one of our own. I guess I want to say she lost her life in the line of duty. So I want to say uh, my prayers. My prayers go out to her and uh, family and. We hope we we hope y'all feel better on this uh in doing this process, and I, I would like to tell people to give them give, give the public um I would like to say I'm sorry I'm saying this wrong and my words are getting cut up I would like the public to give them time some more, but I pray the public do go out to that family because you know y'all had. One of your own, one of your own sister, brother, sister, child, mother was pr protecting us, and she uh lost her life in the line of duty. That's what I was trying to say, y'all. So, and for that need, I'm sorry. And if you want to see more about this, you can go on uh Twitter. Yeah, you can go on Twitter, and you'll see uh.
a lot more about what's going on with uh, this. Um, yeah, I mean, you really can see, you really can see that this doesn't make any sense. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Uh, I was just looking at some stuff and updating y'all on the news and stuff. I thought I'd give y'all some update on the news. That was going on. It's just sad the way life is just life is just leading us. It's sad, you know. You would think that out of all this stuff that's going on in the world, we would uh, we would we basically would be more symp sympathetic on the life of we living on people period but i guess we're not synthetic on people i guess we feel the need that we got to do kit all this killing all this other type of stuff i mean we're just not synthetic you know i'm just saying i it, it's it's sad and it hurts my heart um I actually don't know if it would be okay. Okay. I I I I don't think even if I was decide to get in a relationship, I don't I don't think I would want to even bring any children in in, in this world. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get comfortable. It's sad, but y'all, I had a good day today. I thought I'd come on here and, and see what, of course, my fam doing on this Sunday, uh, ending the weekend. Uh, uh, so, um, as y'all know, usually every, every Sunday, <coughs> excuse me, my sister come over, so she did come over, she came. And she came and visited me, and uh, we sit, we chat, we talk. You know, she just helped me realize things that it, it, things ain't always what it seems to be. But don't get so into your depression mode, or don't get so angry at someone because at the end of the day, after all this said and done. You still got your help. And I I kind of I kind of understand what she's talking about because you understand what I'm saying? I ain't no use to you all that negativity and all that you get mad at other people for certain things when at the end of the day, the only thing that really does matter is your health and your strength. And how long and how far God has brought you. God brought you this far. He brought you far. You understand what I'm saying? It don't matter how far it is. He brought you far. He brought you far enough to tell, to sit there and, and, and say a testimony about it. Child, I'm sorry. Yeah, he brought y'all far enough to say a, te a uh, have a testimony about it. And I think that's good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't think it's good, but I do. Because that's far. Uh, that's far. A lot of people don't make it today where we get. Look, every day we wake up on what we see on the TV, killings. Every day we wake up or we look up on our phones, what do we see on Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube? Somebody don't got killed, whether it's a police officer or whether it's a a a, a, a black or a minority that got killed. And, and who killing who? They say the police officers killing us, but in reality, we are killing each other. 
It's a mess. It's a mess, y'all. It's a mess. I don't I don't understand I don't understand it. But I guess in the word of the Bible, it says it's gonna be some things that you're not gonna understand. And I guess that's where I sit with my life. You know, because I I, I guess I'm the type of person I value my life. So I'm not gonna wanna go out there and kill nobody. I'm not going to want to go out there and, 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 and try to beat up nobody. I'm not going to want to go out there and do all this stupidity stuff and this craziness stuff. And for what? Where is it going to get you? It's going to get you two places, in the cemetery or locked up. And then on top of that, do you even know what are you fighting for? That's why I'm saying you got to have a reason what are you fighting for. That's why it goes back, and I sit there and say this all the time. I said this when I first started doing my posts and my videos. I began to think, what did Martin Luther King die for? Martin Luther King to die for us to have equal rights. So we can be able to have the same as uh, um, all the other minorities. But we can't get the same as our other minorities because we too busy trying to what you say fight. That's the only thing we doing. Y'all, I just want my prayers to go out to that that uh share family and I want my prayers to go out to the other family that's missing their other child. And I want my prayers also to go out to, I'm trying to see y'all, hold on. Uh, it's, I just seen it. My prayers go out to that other family. Oh, and the, uh, and the other family with the gunshot, gun shooting in Dallas. Uh, so all my prayers go out to everybody. I want the families to stay prayed up because God is good and God will get you through this. It may seem God is not going to get you through this right now, but I promise you God will get you through this. You know, just stay prayed up. Ask God to help you. And please don't have don't don't have that heart in your heart because God is gonna God is gonna make it all right. You know, I promise you that. If I don't know nothing else, my faith in God is strong. So with that, I want to tell y'all just to stay prayed up and I love y'all.